Okay, so the second problem from chapter two. Chapter two was just just kind of a, a basic conservation of energy. Um, we did look at potential energy and kinetic energy, um, or these problems like here where we were kind of keeping track of all the energy and work that was going in and out our system. So here, don't let's not overthink this one. We've got a vertical piston cylinder device it contains water that's being heated. During the process, 65 BTUs of heat is transferred to the water. Heat losses from the side walls amount to 8. Piston rises and it does 5 BTUs of work done by the vapor to determine the change in the energy of the water for this process. This is really just a Q plus W equals delta U. Uh, many times over here this delta U is a change in con kinetic energy, a change in potential energy, B but this problem is, is just asking for the delta U. So that's what we're solving for right there. So here we're just keeping up with the Q's and U's that are going into and out of our system. We've got, you know, this water that is, let's see, 65 BTUs is transferred to the water. So we've got 65 BTUs of energy going into the water. Heat losses, we've got 8 BTUs going out. Piston rises doing five BTUs of work done by the vapor. Let's, let's talk about that. Think about that. Okay. All right. So first, let's just uh, sum up all the Qs. We've got positive 65 BTU. We've got negative 8 BTU. And what is this five BTU of work done by the vapor? That is the way I do that. That's going to be negative 5 BTU. All right, because the way that I do it, I always think of, I do Q plus W, and I say N is positive, out is negative. This is work out. This is work out. Here's what the book would do. Here's what the book would do. They say Q minus W equals delta U, and they would say that the work out is positive, so they would have 65 minus 8 minus minus uh, positive 5 equals delta u Sorry. equals delta u all right so now this is just delta u for now we haven't you know talked about h's and u's yet however you do it you should get 52 btu 52 btu okay so in this chapter remember there are some problems where um the room was losing heat at this rate, but then the, the stuff in the room was, you know, gaining heat at this rate. It was just kind of a tally, just concentration, and keeping track of all the heat transfer and work leads to the delta U. Okay, that was one example. L look at this problem. I post the solution. This one, the work that we could get out was was due to change in potential energy um, but then we also had you know had to multiply times the mass flow rate uh, to get the power that's a maximum power that could uh, get out uh, but if it's only operating at 84 percent efficiency we can only get out 48.2 some of these problems we may have done before maybe even had in a test before um, over the years I've reuse some of these problems. So, all right. So anyway, chapter two, again, a short 10 point problem, uh, conservation of energy, either like this one, keeping track of everything going in or out, or like this one, did the potential energy change? Did the kinetic energy change? Did both change? Uh, and power is M dot times that change in, um, energy.